Hi everyone, well I am wild camping in the woods and uh, I'll show you the setup now and before we start this is a private woods and I'm here with full consent of the owner I have permission <laughs> and this is my setup it's the coyote if it focuses it is going a bit dark but um, the coyote brown 3x3 DD hammock uh, tarp hammock <laughs> and uh, the old um, Prusik loop there so and it's a basic ground dwelling you can't see much I'll show you probably in the morning if this isn't doesn't work but uh, um, I'm using a bivy bag inside just to keep the warmth if I need it but that's my little setup we've also got there that's a parachute <laughs> and uh, that's camp oh, that's a little table that's the other setup that's a hammock setup that one as I say the lights go in but um, uh, probably show you more of them it's a fantastic woods quite windy this evening but uh, it's gonna, we're gonna start the fire and I've got my if I can show you my trusty where are you jack claw knife so I'm gonna do some feather sticks so uh, on this side fantastic there's the fire oh, I was going to be so um, can't see me very well see you in a bit Right, the fire is going, going well. The wind's just picked up. We can hear the owl in the background there. Let's see if this works. Something went. That's better. <laughs> right, a bit blurred. There we are, we're in focus got the fire going as you can see there camp set up and we're just having our first brew of the evening the owls are hooting and uh, don't know if you can hear that no I won't do it on cue and then later on we'll have a few beers so we'll see you in a bit and it don't get no better than that steak peppers in the pan <laughs> I can almost taste it from here <laughs> now that is absolutely <laughs> Done to perfection. Wow. Yeah, go on, help yourselves. Bloody hell, Python. <laughs> Can you hear the rain? We're in under the parachute, and I think I'm under the centre because I can just feel a few specks. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic, it is. Anyway, just a little update. Right, for those people who enjoy, well, a beer while camping or at home, whatever, um, take a look at that company there, Brewdog, Dead Pony Club, right, don't worry too much about the name, superb beer, I'm not going to tip this too much because it's some in it, Punk IPA, right, 5.6%, but the taste, it's a real ale and it's a company that's owned by its patrons and run by the patrons. Now these have got pubs in London, different places and they only sell their own beer 
which the Patreons, or the owners, people who pay into the company, like. A very unique thing, but you can see why they're good. I'm not paid by these, by the way. I'm just saying it's a good, it's a good drink. Um, Punk IBA. If you like stuff like this, that's a lovely. Oof, that's very nice. Anyway, that's all. It is quarter past eleven in the evening. Just having my last sip. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, but the rain is coming down now, quite heavy. And there's nothing nicer on a wild camp than the sound of the rain on the tar. I'll be out like a log. Bang. So, uh, just watching nature's television which is the fire and it's been a fantastic night um, good fire good food a few beers and a good chat so uh, really enjoyed it you need this now and again so that is it I'll bid you good night thanks for watching and I'll see you in the morning Right, well, good morning. And uh, there's only one way to start the morning on a wild camp. And that's with a sizzle. <laughs> and if you're interested, it's uh, smoky bacon. Now the bacon is ready. And I would like to say this video was sponsored by Tesco Danish Smoked Back Bacon. However, it wasn't. So go to your local butcher, stuff Tesco's, right? But it tastes good out in the field. Oh, and another one we're using. Kingsmill Soft White Sandwich Thins. Ready, ready split. Right. What you do is you chuck one in there. There. And get it down here. Mm. Wonderful. Followed by coffee.
So what I'm attempting here is to make some feather sticks, as you can see there, which are good for lighting the fire I'm using the jack claw knife, which uh, the doctor, Sandy, made for me very proud. Thanks Sandy, working a treat. And uh, I'm not particularly good at doing this. But it comes with practice. You see, I put a bit too much pressure sometimes. That's a good one. So uh, this was my setup, just tarp against the trees there with the Prusik loop piece of wood to keep the tart, tart, tarp, <laughs> taut and it's the DD hammock, DD tarp, not hammock, 3x3 coyote brown. Even though it might look green, I don't know. But, uh, that's green, that's brown. And um, I did a sort of a door to stop the wind coming in. It did, it was quite windy last night and um, rained. So I'll have a wonder. It's uh, I'm gonna hang in my bag up there off the ground. But there's nothing nicer. I've always said it, than the sound of rain and the breeze on a tarp, on a tent, um, especially in the woods. Fantastic. Now if you listen, you can hear the birds. Fantastic. It's a lovely woods, this. As I say, it's a private woods and I'm here with full permission of the owner uh, fantastic let's have a look down here wearing the these uh, British army boots um, I've had them for years and years. I've always worn them when I'm in camping, um, especially in the woods. You know, in the you can see the light coming through the canopy. It's quite well, not dark, but it's darker in here than it is outside, if you like. But uh, yeah, it's um, they're good, comfortable boots, and they work well for me. Uh, It's a huge place, dear. Yeah. We'll go up here. A bit of morning exercise. And this isn't my usual camera. This. It's, uh, hopefully, it's okay. Aye. So there's plenty of wood for the fire. That's your deadfall. Everywhere you look, once it dries up, right. beautiful. So, I'm going to head back to camp. And this is at the camp, the main camp. The fire in there. Um, parachute. I've never seen a parachute up close, but bloody hell, it's big. Massive things here. And it's kept the rain off quite well. And they say that uh, 
the more smoke it has, the better it becomes more water resistant if you like. Um, heavy rain does come through it but it keeps you drier than you would be normally. That's what it looks like from the outside. So it's fantastic. So get the kettle on. Right, what you're going to see here is an ingenious thing for you wild campers and this here, piece of wood and the way it's grown and the way it's been cut it's like an anchor so lifts up goes down swings out the way of the fire it's a, a pot hanging system and made out of wood absolutely superb never seen anything like it and there's a little prop down below just this V thing which holds it up if you could see my face but yeah fan look at that fantastic <laughs> okay so I've come to the end of my wild camp and uh, it's been fantastic really good night good sleep good food good chat good drink and good surroundings and it doesn't get much better than that so i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i'll speak to you soon